all right people what the hell is going on since um i'm slouched down on my goddamn futon watching well i ain't watching nothing uh internet is down right now you know we had hurricane burl 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 come through today i got a chance to play a little bit of uh um uh, fallout 76 um i got a chance to play a little bit of that and the storm has gone it has moved on and because that all that stuff happened in the morning time and then later on at night the internet decides to go down fuck i also have to uh take into account that other shit uh besides my immediate vicinity don't look like nothing much than happened but around other parts of the city eh, hurricane <laughs> it looked like a hurricane and went through so yeah i take i like, i can't be upset that the, that something is out luckily it's not the power but anyway this is a fallout 76 video and i um I'm, I'm quite sick of it. <laughs> I am. They got the Fosnod event going on now. And of course, I've been playing that. And of the way that I play Fallout 76 anyway, it's, it's pretty much all I do other than my dailies and weeklies and all that shit. You know, trying to get my way up uh, to certain items on the... Uh, scoreboard which i you know it's items on the scoreboard that i want i don't i don't complete it i'm not sitting there trying to run uh do experience grinds and all kind of shit like that to complete the, the scoreboard unless the item that i want is the last item on the goddamn scoreboard <laughs> on the last goddamn page i would not be doing that there's only two items i want out of this shit that's that pemmican thing and the uh the new uh survival tent that's it i don't want nothing else all the rest of that shit i pick up along the way and i i have some some tickets and shit left over to pick up all the little excess shit but i'm not I, i'm i'm not a scoreboard grinder um i used to didn't pay no attention to it at all until you start going around and people can't be like what where i get one of these and where i get one of that shit and how can I get and figure out you can't even get the shit because it was in the scoreboard and you can't buy it and you can't do it. Just, that's how they create the FOMO in these games to keep the, to keep you playing. You know what I'm saying? To keep you playing. They lock away shit and make it inaccessible. You know? So, anyway, those are the two things I, uh, that I'm shooting for. Because I like to have a resource heavy camp. I ain't the only one. But I like my camp to be self sufficient. I like to be able to go to my camp and get everything I need. You know what I'm saying? Where I don't have to spend a whole lot of time searching the map, which I don't know all that well. Because people just be throwing out names and shit like that. Well, this is such and such over here at this rate. I don't have no idea what none of that shit is. Only place I, I uh, event pop up, I fast travel to the event. There's only a few places that I know because a lot of times after those events, I'll be overcome and I have to walk back to my camp, which is in the middle of the map at uh, Pleasant Valley. So uh, <laughs> that's it. That's it. I That's the only way I know my way around the goddamn map. A um, couple of years I've been playing this game. And I'm still discovering locations because I ain't never fucking been there before. It's, anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to get my uh, uh, camp as filled up with productive shit as I can. Because um, I... Uh, I think the next thing I'm trying to get right now is that butter churn, motorized butter churn. Will I be able to get it? It's all RNG. You know what I'm saying? 
It's, it's fucked up that you can spend all day playing this game for two weeks and still not get the shit. I think that is enough to warrant getting an item. It ought to be something in the background that keeps count of how many times you have completed the goddamn event. You know what I'm saying? You be like, okay, they didn't complete the event this amount of times. It ain't gotta be public or nothing like that, but it should be there to where you know, okay. They didn't they didn't put in a time. They can you know had this plan that everybody is fucking uh, searching for. It's uh, it's it's pitiful. It's pitiful. I got all these fucking masks. I got so many Foshnot masks. And <laughs> I don't wear masks in the game unless it's a challenge or something like that. Uh, the, uh, the fucking mask looks stupid as shit. Um, I did manage to get... I think I got four rare masks. I got two glowing masks. I got that winter man mask. And I got a red demon mask. I think those are rare. Not the glowing ones. I know the glowing ones are rare. But I think that I think those two are rare because I haven't seen them. Out of all the stuff I done picked up, those those are the those were the uh those two are the ones that I only got once. Everything else I got more than once, including the glowing uh Scorch Beach Queen. I got two glowing no uh two glowing Scorch Beach Queens. And I spend my time sitting there. I always go to the little donation box that pisses everybody off. I don't know why. If you don't want people uh, picking through your trash, don't 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 put shit in the goddamn trash can. That's all I gotta say, you know. So people put shit in there. I snatch it. If I don't need it, it goes back. You know what I'm saying? If I don't, I snatch as soon as I see it because I don't know what it is. You ain't got time to be reading none of that shit. As soon as that shit pop up, take off. As soon as it pop up, take off. If you ain't fast enough, old fuck well. Because if I don't hit take off fast enough, somebody else will. So I don't feel bad about it at all. I'll take that shit to my survival tent or somebody's camp, sort through that shit, and. Whatever legendaries I can't carry, uh, or whatever the fuck, I take that shit back. Uh, those one stars, I put the one stars back. I done got to the point where I don't even care about one star legendaries anymore. Uh, if I pick them, I pick them up. But uh, once I sort through, if I ain't got the uh, carrying capacity to take them to the fucking uh, to the script machine, I put them back in there. Here you go, y'all can have this shit. Now the three stars, maybe the two stars. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to see what I can do to get those to the script machine. Because I still want my script. Even though I don't really use that shit all that much. I always end up getting to the max. Uh, before I even realize. Uh, <laughs> was it 6,000? Or something. Whatever it is. I always end up getting to the max. And I'm like, oh shit. I need to go take this shit in. I don't spend a whole lot of time uh, re after I done done that shit a few times I don't spend a whole lot of time re-rolling shit for legendaries that shit is horrible it is now sometimes I get a whole bunch of them things and I just be getting rid of getting rid of the modules or whatnot. alright I got a hundred modules right here let me find a weapon that I like and see if I can just so happen to get a favorable roll on this shit like that but it has to be a weapon I like and it ain't that many weapons that I really like in this goddamn game um, and the, as far as the roles and shit I ain't gonna get nothing better than what I got unless unless I'm re-rolling armor and shit weapons I mean I got a Gatling gun and uh, I could use another shotgun I use the kabloom, but I can use a regular shotgun with this. Yeah, you know the poison shit don't bother me. It don't. It really don't. Uh, and I prefer to play with 
uh, the pump action shotgun, and I to uh, also prefer to play with the Gatling gun. I'm not at, out there on a DPS race with anybody. They kill regular shit just fast enough, but <clears throat> those guns free up space for me because I don't have to create ammo for them. Those those guns generate uh, drop more ammo than I expend killing enemies. You know what I'm saying? They do. They they. That's why uh, I haven't had to fuck with um, the little ammo perks and none of that. None of that. To tell you the truth, the only time I've made uh, any ammo lately was daily challenge or weekly challenge where I had to create ammo. That's it. You pull out the Gatling gun, I'll, I'll, I'll take 500 rounds with me. I'll play the game for a day or two and then check my uh, and then check my, my inventory and I got 10, 15,000 rounds. I started off with 500 and after one, uh, may a day and a half, maybe two days, I got 15,000 rounds of ammunition. And that's not even me playing conservatively. You know what I'm saying? And it was like that. It's like that when I had my shotgun at first. Bam, bam, bam. I had so much goddamn shotgun ammo because, you know, shotgun, I kill a motherfucker with one or two rounds and the motherfucker drop six and, you know, all that type of shit. Yeah, I ain't start eating up ammo until I start playing with the pepper shaker. And I was like, okay. This is a whole lot goddamn different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You start playing with the pepper shaker and all your goddamn uh, ammo just start going down. And I like the pepper shaker, but I'm like, this thing burns through ammo way too fast for my liking. I didn't got accustomed to not having to worry about ammo. I have. I've gotten accustomed to not having to worry about ammo. The only thing I worry about when it comes to Fallout 76 is grenades and I run an explosive build so that means my weapon whatever my primary weapon is is going to be explosive in nature it's just how it's going to be and I pack a shit ton of grenades with me I got so many goddamn nuka grenades and uh, nuka quantum grenades uh, I got so many of them and I pack a whole lot of them because I can't keep them in my fucking stash you know what I'm saying I got the perk on that takes the weight off of that shit but I can't put it in the stash so I got I got a few hundred of them shits just on me and I don't use them a lot I use all the random grenades and shit that I pick up instead and plus I make dynamite Should I make dynamite? Should I make dynamite? I don't need to, but I make dynamite. Uh, <laughs> I make dynamite. Not a lot. Well, not by my standards, not a lot. I might make fifty, and then I have a super duper perk on, so it'll be more than fifty. Uh, but I and I'll I'll carry those with me. Um. So, yeah, a few hundred grenades on me at any goddamn given time, and I don't even use them that often. Um, <clears throat> but that's where my resources go. Uh, my over encumberedness now comes from food. You know what I'm saying? Because. Um, like they did with the Foshna shit and they started putting all kind of shit in the, uh, they, they started putting all kind of shit in the goddamn uh, in the donation box thinking they was pissing people off which I, I, I don't get it and you know it's a, they put a bunch of spoiled food and all kind of shit in there I run the explosive bills I need that shit 
You know, you throw all that spoiled food in there, I'm going to take it all. I am. I'm going to take it all, and then I'm going to go make me some goddamn fertilizer, and that's what I use to make my dynamite, along with whatever oil I pick up. I got that that nodding donkey thing. I don't know how much oil that that uh, makes, but, yeah, whatever. You know, the, from the frequency I make uh, those grenades, since I say I don't throw them out that often, by the time I run out, I would have gotten enough resources back to remake everything I'd have thrown out. So I'm not really losing any resources. And I have plenty of fucking... Uh, plenty of fucking uh, fertilizers, spoiled food, shit like that. Because I... You know how food spoils fast as fuck when you want to eat it? But when you got a whole bunch of food in your inventory that you are waiting that you waiting for it to spoil that shit just it will not spoil for shit <laughs> it won't spoil for shit I'm like god damn it yeah uh plus the little fertilizer i got you know the little chicken coop or whatever can you have a chicken coop in the, and the brahmin out at the same time i'm not sure i know i got that tree i got that tree that gives you spoil fruit but i don't know how many they give you but some be none uh, so I got all my resources and stuff kind of honed in for my playing style. You know, I got the, the, the little Myler steamer, which is creepy as hell. When you look at it, it's a live goddamn Myler in there. And you just cutting all pieces of meat off of that motherfucker. It's, uh, anyway, it's just <laughs> motherfucker in there getting pieces of meat cut off he just regenerating you just keep cutting it off like god damn that's, that's that's quite nasty but anyway the <laughs> i got that and the smoke mild lurk fillets give you a big ass boost to your uh to your uh carry weight and <clears throat> use two of those I mean, you get two of those in there, you, so you snatch everything out of there. I'll let everything else spoil. The only two of those things that I will actually eat is those Mollock fillets, plus I'll go to uh, Nuka World. I'll get that stuffed gopher foot or stuffed foot, whatever that is. They give you a, a strength boost. And I'll, uh, if I don't see any of those bear claw things out there, um, I usually take two of them. I used to go and take all of them. I don't take all of them. I go and I, if I see something there, uh, if it's like the full amount just just sitting out there, I'll take two, um, or I'll just buy one from the the vendor there. Which in my game, that woman don't never hardly have any clothes on. She's always naked in my game. I don't I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that have that uh, that that ghoul vendor that you spawn in next to and. For, you go and she's just sitting up naked with a fucking mug or whatever the fuck sipping this shit just like I got pictures of it too so yeah I am very immature just, <laughs> of course I pulled my camera out and went into photo mode I mean she ain't really got it so she ain't got no nipples or no shit like that showing or nothing but it's it's still funny as hell so I'll I'll do that to try to manage my weight because y'all know how uh, Fallout 76 got a habit of throwing shit into your inventory. Um, especially after you do these events. You just you just get shit and you don't know what it is. And you will be overweight, over encumbered. You won't know why. But you have to look at shit. It's just like... Um, what was that last week, week four? I'm sitting there over encumbered. I, I was dumping out shit all over the goddamn place. I'm still over encumbered. Motherfucker, I had 95 pounds worth of Nuka Cola candies in my goddamn inventory. I don't know how that shit got there. I don't. I don't know how it got there. And, that, and that's some shit you won't pay attention to. You be looking at tokens and all kind of shit in the other inventory. Uh, and all kind of shit. I got the pharmacy bag, so I know ain't none of my pharmacy shit 
Uh, my Kim's taking up that much space. And I ain't got hardly no food because I had just dumped all the goddamn food out. 95 pounds of fucking Nuka candies. If that ain't sneaking shit right up near... And then earlier today, I was running across some shit. I'm like, where the fuck all this weight at? Again, you're just like, where all this weight coming from? I, had a, I got fucking 40 dirty waters. Because, you know, I'm one of those people that just loot every goddamn thing. And I I can usually do that because most stuff that you just loot and shit, you just scrap it and dump it. Well, dirty water ain't one of them. <laughs> it's just not. I don't cook enough for that shit to, to disappear like that. So I had a shit ton of dirty water. I had 40 dirty water. Soon as I dump that shit, you hear that little chink, that little chink sound let you know that you can drop below your fucking weight. And I was like, see? They go, you gotta you gotta check every goddamn thing. You fuck around like I do, you loot every goddamn thing, or you hold on to certain shit, and you'll fuck around and have you know 20 nuka cherries or some shit like that. Cause I don't really drink the nuka cherries. I, I pick up all the nuka colas and shit that I see. Nuka colas and nuka cola quantums, that shit going to the uh goes into my inventory to make my grenades and then i got the nuka cola collectron shit so when i run by there i'm picking up more shit you know and then i run by my uh the little machine i got the coke bottle machine uh mystery nuka mystery or well whatever the fuck you know you click on that about a by chance you get a rare flavor of a uh you know, a, a nuka cranberry, a nuka orange, a nuka grape, or something like that. Um, just hopefully you get it, so you can put that in your fucking uh, inventory for later when you might need it. So you can, I mean, you can easily, where well, you can't easily get fucking, you can get nuka cranberry if you know where they are. Like I said, I don't know that whole map like that. So it's a, it's a nuka cranberry at such and such location, and I, I have. Like they, what they said, it was like uh, one was supposed to be in Belch, uh, Belch and Betty. That's one of them goddamn first places you go when you first turn on the fucking game and get into the mission. That's one of the first places you go, the Belch and Betty mine. I ain't been there. Since. <laughs> I ain't no reason to go up in there. You know, I went up in there and I got right inside the door and start looking around in that first room to the left. And I was like, I am not walking all the way through here. I opened up my challenges. Reroll. We is not doing this shit. I'm sorry. If 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 it's this certain challenges that seem like they can be pretty simple, but like searching for animals, fucking honeybees. They're like, well, it's a honeybees over here. And them motherfuckers ain't never there. You know what I'm saying? The honeybees ain't never there. And in their locations I go to. Except for once. And I went back to that same exact spot. No honeybees. Different server. No honeybees. Anytime I don't need a honeybees. The next thing I, I'm, I'm running across the map for whatever reason. I'm getting chased and stung in the ass. By fucking honeybees. Where the fuck are you when I need you motherfucker? Leave me alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh man, it's it's fucking ridiculous. There's a bunch of like gulpers. I don't know what a fucking gulper is. I don't I don't even know how to go on that side of the goddamn map where you see that shit. That whole east side, the mire, and and some of the cranberry bar, I don't go over there. Only time I'm over there is a scorched beast uh scorched thirst event. I, I don't just be wandering around over there willy nilly. Just no, this is this is very unpleasant being over there. I'm like, uh, uh, no, this is the opposite of the forest. You go through the forest, you like la 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 la, you know, something should jump out at you, you shoot it, and you go about your business. Man, f man, fuck the east side of that map, all of it. <laughs> fuck the east side of that goddamn map. Don't go over there. Stay your ass away from over there on the east side of the map. 
You get to the Savage Divide, you stay up in there. Don't go fucking east. The shit gets horrible over there. I don't like it. If I'm at an event over there, hopefully when I'm done with that event, I can fast travel out of there. Oh, man. Anyway, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Uh, let me see. I need. I was getting ready to say something about the Fox Knot thing uh, before I started talking about something else. It had something to do with that donation box. It either had something to do with the donation box or it had to do with people getting mad because of uh, AFKers. And it probably was the AFKers because I don't I don't understand that. You complete the you do you go in there, you do the event, you get your shit, you go about your business. How is it harming you that somebody is sitting in the house playing music or hiding in the bathroom? I went up in one of that house, like um you got the church, and then on the other side of the street, you got the other little house. <laughs> I hopped in on the second floor. I was I was going in there to see what kind of loot was in the house because the event wasn't going on. I walked in, and this motherfucker was crossed, crossed down next to the toilet in the bathroom. And he wasn't AFK either because when I walked in there, he turned and looked at me. I'm like, what the fuck you doing in here, man? What the <laughs> it looked weird because he had one of those fucked up ass mask on with it wasn't a long nose mask, but it looked like a long beak. It, it looked weird as fuck. It's like if you walked in your bathroom. It's almost like if you walked in your bathroom and there was a possum next to your toilet. You know they not for do nothing. They just going to sit there and look at you like. That's what he looked like. I walked in the bathroom. He was sitting there. Crossed out next to the toilet. The fuck you doing in here, man? You stupid motherfucker, get your ass up out of here. But I'm like, what they got to do with you if you doing the event? I just saw a comment in a, in a, a post on YouTube, and the dude was like, I can't stand the the, the Fox Knot. Um, I can't stand the Fox Knot event anymore because of campers. What the hell they got to do with you doing the event? It's the same. It's the same. Whether you doing the event, you know what I'm saying? Whether you do the event or not. Uh, like I, I was watching a, a live stream yesterday and that chick was like, you know, I, I guess she was talking about it really don't make no difference. You know, because they try to nuke the event. They, all this shit. It, you, you kill them, they respawn right back there. Everybody got... Either it, they either got the perks on for the radi radiation, or they got power on. They just gone. They they either gonna uh, use whatever perks they got, or they gonna put on a fucking uh, power armor and keep doing what the fuck they've been doing. If they there, they gonna get the goddamn rewards at the end of the goddamn event anyway. Why is that pissing you off? You know what I'm saying? It's just like I get there. I do at least the amount as possible. I don't want to go out there and blow off all my ammo to kill some rinky dink ass animals because there ain't really nothing out there worth shooting for the most part, tell you the truth. I go out there, I might kill one or two critters or, or super mutant or something or one of those fucking frogs just to verify that I participated in the event. And then I will just coast the rest of the way. I won't shoot at nothing. I won't do nothing because everybody else out there want to play big dick with their guns and see how fast they can kill everything. Ain't no use for me. Captain, do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It really ain't. I go out there just enough for me to shoot, throw a grenade or whatever, go pick up whatever ammo I done drop down and then run and hop on top of the house to make sure I got a shot at the dogs that run out and whatever legendary come out. 
That's it. You know, that's it. I don't do this shit at the beginning to get the, uh, to get the, uh, what's his name? The, uh, uh, what they call that? To get the, the, the robots parade ready. Do that shit. I tried to earlier. You know what I'm saying? I did. I tried to earlier. I was saying, man, let me do one of these. And the event didn't even happen. Just fucked up. When I finally decided to participate at the beginning of the event, I tried to go get wood and shit for the guy. And then the robot just disappeared. appeared. Didn't walk over there to the shit to where the uh where they go and stand to get ready. Robot just disappeared. Just bloop. Bye. I'm like, what? The little bonfire thing wasn't there. It just the event just didn't fucking happen. It was uh a bug the uh server, I guess. I don't know. I was like, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna let everybody else do the work like I've been doing. <laughs> I don't sit there in the FK and just sit somewhere still unless I know I'm gonna have to do that. It's one of them things where it's like, okay, the event for the start. There's some shit around here that I got to do. I either got to go to the bathroom because if I got to go to the bathroom, I'm going to be in there the duration of the event. You know what I'm saying? So you put your little dude down, you know, a bathroom run. You ain't got to set up nothing fancy for run around the circle, none of that shit. You just, you know, okay. And then, oh, I got to go to the kitchen because I'm preparing some food or something. So I'm not going to be right here to be able to pay attention but it's at the top of the hour you know what i'm saying you know something like that but if that's what even if that's what i'm doing i'm like why the fuck you know motherfuckers come up shooting you and shit i'm like why are you why are you doing that so dude did was that today or yesterday motherfucker uh and power arm and a mini gun just following motherfuckers around Looking for attention. I don't know. He just... Motherfuckers start shooting me and shit. So I just walk off. I walked in one of the buildings. Picking up loot and shit. He, and then he, all of a sudden, he come up in the building. Like, oh, man, come on. Why are you in here? He started shooting me. I'm not for to shoot you back, dude. You know, it's, I, I can't... If I knew... You know what I'm saying? If I just knew right from the start that, okay... If... If I that I could just blast this motherfucker to pieces, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, okay, fuck it, Brr, start the combat, whack, just just take him out, and then go and buy this goddamn, you know, go and buy my business. Can't do that. I got in a fight with somebody and I was punching him and it wasn't taking no goddamn, uh, it wasn't taking no health. So I, I'm not for the bother with this pvp shit i don't like pvp and no games that i play unless it's fucking call of duty if it ain't call of duty i don't fucking like pvp if i want pvp i'll go play fucking call of duty easy peasy i don't play these games for the pvp part of it motherfuckers sitting there shooting you in Wasting all this ammo. I'll sit there and let you shoot me and waste all your ammo. Go ahead. Go ahead and waste all your goddamn ammo. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm not for to react to that shit. They was doing they was doing that shit uh when when I was snatching all that shit out the fucking uh donation box. Why? Donation box is there for you to take shit out. Motherfucker, we got three or four motherfuckers shoot me and shit. Why? Cause y'all see me there taking stuff out the box. Somebody gonna take it out the box. Why are you angry that we are taking shit out the box? Why are you angry that people are standing around and not moving? I ain't got nothing to do with you. If I'm sitting around here and not doing nothing. If I, I'll fuck around and eventually get timed out or disconnected from the server or whatever the fuck. I mean, it was, that ain't got shit to do with you. 
the shit that's in the goddamn uh in the donation box is up for grabs did you put it in there you know if so this shit i mean if you don't want to buy taking shit don't put it in there don't call yourself trying to trade it with somebody else that's a very dumb idea you know what i'm saying if you want to do that you go to a a train station way off somewhere and then you could you could trade with somebody like that or just you know i would say drop it on the goddamn ground but even then you know now i won't snatch nothing uh if i see somebody just drop a bag i wouldn't I, you know there, there's there's a, a grace period there <laughs> it is there, there's a grace period there i will take advantage of some shit i've seen some people that was uh investigating you know a, a, a drop bag down there whoop just buy nigga i will i will check this shit out i'm not gonna sit here and read all this shit right now you sitting there <laughs> you can see he's sitting there pointing his gun at it you tell you looking at the bag looking through it and i just snatched the whole goddamn bag and just <laughs> I just that's the old damn bag. Yeah, I'm finna go do the same thing you was doing, but I'm finna go do it in privacy and in security. Because what what just happened? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm not finna go. <laughs> I would drop this shit. Like I go off and I cook all the goddamn food and put it back in the box. Now that ain't saying much. It really ain't. But I do that. I go, I cook all the meat, and I make, I make, uh, cook all the vegetables, and I put it in the box. That's just as a good gesture. No, nobody know that I'm doing that, but for myself, and as much shit as I carry, for me to put 40, 50 food items in it, freshly made food items in there too, a lot of which, because I, like I said, I only use the bear claw. And the smoke uh, fillets. So a bunch of that stuff is stat boosting. And carry weight boosting. It's ribeye steaks and that. And all kind of shit. I don't use those. Cook all that shit. Put it in there. People uh, will look over it. Well, that's on fucking you. But I put it in there for people to get. You know what I'm saying? It's I, I put a bunch of stat boosting shit in there for y'all. For me snatching up a bunch of shit that didn't nobody want to start with. A bunch of fast knot masks that people dumped in there that didn't nobody want. That I probably already got 10 of. You know what I'm saying? Just shit like that. You know. So I ain't all bad. I ain't all bad. I do that. They say whatever I take ends up in a donation box. What the fuck I'm going to do with all those goddamn plans? Every once in a while I just might get a plan that I don't have doesn't quite happen but it I mean I ain't gonna I can't say how often it happens because I usually snatch everything all at once but you never know now you know it's, it's less likely to happen because I didn't snatch so many goddamn plans that shit I just <laughs> I mean every time I go check I mean, it's such a long list of known plans that I have in my goddamn inventory. I'm like, shit. And then when you're looking for plans and recipes, ain't nothing. Might be one, two. And it's shit that I don't care about. I don't care about decorations and all kind of shit like that. I don't, I don't care about none of that stuff. I really don't. I'll use certain things if I just so happen to have it in my camp menu. But I don't go out looking for shit. People look for planters and shit. What the fuck I want a goddamn flower pot? You know? Like for real, man, people, oh man, they be wanting some of the weirdest shit. Now, if it's a real house, I can see. <laughs> a real house, I can see. But no, uh-uh. I'm not worried about no planters and shit, you know? No, no, no. Let me, I get the, the resource shit is what I have my eye on. 
You know what I'm saying? The last ones I got was a non donkey and a cement truck. Um, I want the weenie wagon. I don't know where to get it, but I want the weenie wagon. Even though it produced something that I won't use unless it's in a challenge. But nevertheless, I want it. You know what I'm saying? I want it. There's a few other things. It's a, uh, a thing they said I can buy in the... Uh, I'll probably look that up tomorrow whenever I get some internet. Uh, look, cookie jar, whatever the fuck. That is a resource thing too. I forgot what it give you. Something that I don't really fucking use. But I want it. It says it's in the atomic shop. So I'm like, where? And hope it's not. It's part of some goddamn bundle where I have to spend $10, $12 on it. Then I probably won't get it. I'm just... Uh, you know, I, I do spend money on the game, but I mean, there is a limit, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> there's a limit, you know, I'm just like, okay, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. It, uh, that, that don't make sense, for, especially if it just give out like junk food and some shit, something I don't use that ain't really particularly useful. Nah, at that point, it's just a decoration item. And like I said, I don't really much care for decorations. So, what else? Uh, that's about it as far as Fallout 76. I can't play it right now because internet is down. It's quite late at night too. So, uh, hopefully early tomorrow I'll be able to hop on and uh, play a little bit. And then we shall see, man. <sighs> it's boring. So let me uh get back to hopping on TikTok. I will catch y'all on the next one.